Santa Muerte, one of the fastest growing belief systems in the world. The name translates two ways, Saint Death and Holy Death. Both ways suffice. Santa Muerte is the patron saint of death. Catching a bad rep as the goddess of the cartels, she is in reality not as bad as people want to think. The history of Santa Muerte goes back to the Aztecs, the Aztec goddess of death, Mitigaziwaro, which means the lady of the dead. She was the queen of the underworld, ruling over the afterlife. Her role is to watch over the bones of the dead and preside over the ancient festivals of the dead. These festivals evolved from Aztec traditions into the modern Day of the Dead after synthesis with Spanish traditions. She is known as the Lady of the Dead since it was believed that she was born, then sacrificed as an infant. Miktikaziwato was represented with a flayed body with jaw agape to swallow the stars during the day. The Aztecs were powerful and influential and ruled with an iron fist over many tribes. For 200 years they ruled and indoctrinated their beliefs into the minds and souls of their people. Due to the lack of unification over the people, it was quite easy for the Spanish to overthrow them. But even after the demise, one goddess survived. One who nonetheless used to be offered human sacrifice. Another reason she catches such a bad rap. Into modern day, she has returned as Santa Muerte, also known as the Lady of Death, and celebrated during the Day of the Dead celebrations on November 2nd. Where does the saint part come in, you ask? Well... Given the fact that the Aztec goddess of death survived, even after the Spanish took over, some believe that similar to Rome when the Emperor Constantine forced Christianity onto a widely pagan culture, the people found ways of still practicing their paganism under the guise of monotheism. In Catholicism, the veneration of saints is hard for non-Catholics to understand. With Catholicism being a strict, one God overall religion, but yet they pray to all these different saints? It's not really as confusing as it seems. See, it all starts with the Virgin Mary, who was also known as the Queen of the Saints. Because she made it possible for God to take physical form as Jesus, she represents a unique bridge between man and the divine that can be crossed by having faith in her Son. Those who have crossed this bridge are the saints, and now act as intercessors for man and God. So they don't worship the saints, they worship God only, but they venerate them. They ask them to pray for them. And many saints have specific areas of expertise. Some people who need immediate help pray to St. Jude or St. Expedite. Or people who seek employment call on St. Joseph. Santa Muerte, a.k.a. St. Death, isn't accepted by the Catholic Church, but is honored by millions of Catholics as the saint of the underworld. She watches over the dead and helps take people into the afterlife when they pass. She is commonly depicted side by side the Grim Reaper, a Spanish folklore. So, if you put the pieces of the puzzle together, the Aztec goddess of death, Mictecaziquatl, adapted into the culture and took form as the patron saint of death, giving the Grim Reaper life to the people. Death has always been the single greatest motivating force in all human history. Whether it be hunting to fight off starvation or the ultimatum of war that serves as a rallying cry to unite us for the cause of the greater good. Nothing has shaped the history of humankind like death. Moreover, many of humankind's greatest cultural and architectural wonders have been created in the honor of death. The mausoleum and terracotta, the army of Emperor Qin Shi Huang, St. Peter's Basilica, Westminster Abbey, and more. Even if not directly dedicated to death, many of the greatest books, songs, and achievements throughout the ages have been the result of a single person aware of his or her inevitable mortality, who wanted to make a mark on the world and leave a legacy by which they would be remembered. What separates devotees to Santa Muerte from the rest of the world is that we welcome death. We embrace death. What better way to overcome your fear of death than to befriend it? Santa Muerte is the spirit of death herself. Her devotees come from all around. She welcomes any and everybody. 
whether Hispanic, Caucasian, African, Asian, no matter your ethnicity, she welcomes you. Gay, straight, trans, bi, no matter your sexuality, she welcomes you. Her arms are open to all human beings. She doesn't judge people for their lifestyles, which is why in some cases you'll find that some of the worst of the worst, including cartel members and gang members, worship her. Unlike most deities, she is not judgmental in any way, shape, or form. She accepts you for who you are. She does not judge people for their sins. She is a very powerful being who is known for protecting her devotees. A simple Google search will open you up to a thousand stories of people who have had supernatural experiences while dealing with Santa Muerte. Everything from blessings of riches and healing to punishing people who try to harm her devotees. She can be used in black magic or white magic. She can be called on for protection, success, wealth, health, or she can be called to curse, to hurt, or to harm somebody. Santa Muerte can be revered as a saint or as a goddess. The goddess form, in my opinion, can be linked to the divine feminine aspect of death that has been around since the beginning of time. Many cultures have a death goddess, such as Morrigan, Kali, Ming Pu, and Hecate. Santa Muerte's energy is dark, but that doesn't mean evil, which is commonly misunderstood. People hear the word dark and they freak out. Just because an entity draws their energy from the dark matter that surrounds us doesn't mean it's negative or bad. It's just energy, and usually when working with dark entities, when answering your petitions or prayers, they usually answer firmly and or not without working for it. However, if one wants to use the deities for dark magic like hexes and curses there is very little resistance to the negativity it flows quite freely through the dark matter regardless of what you choose to ask santa muerte for she is known for answering prayers she has answered mine for sure quickly santa muerte is a powerful amazing being whether you consider her a goddess or a saint she will definitely be loyal to you if you were loyal to her when creating a sacred space for Santa Muerte, one thing is for certain. She does not like to share altars with other deities. She wants to have her own altar, so please do not disrespect her unless it's side by side a picture or statue of Jesus who is a representation of God. Santa Muerte is known for liking worldly pleasures, marijuana, tobacco, tequila, coffee, candy, and many other earthly pleasures. Anything with sugar is good. She is also said to like the smell of Palo Santo, Frankincense, copal, dragon's blood, myrrh, nag champa, roses, patchouli, and many more. Some herbs she likes is aloe vera, cactus, apple, beans, belladonna, chili peppers, chocolate, cherry, chrysanthemum, cilantro, and cinnamon, just to name a few. Some stones she has drawn to consist of amethyst, citrine, copper, diamonds, gold, jade, lapis lazuli, obsidian, opal, quartz, tiger's eye, and tourmaline and plenty more of each that you can honor her with. Just for the sake of time, I can't describe every single offering. I personally like to leave her coffee, hot and brewed, and sometimes coffee beans, but ground coffee will do also. I also leave cigarettes lit and unlit. Sometimes I'll light one, take a few puffs, and put it in the offering bowl and let it burn. I'll also leave tequila in an offering chalice, or wine, or some candy, and burn a rose incense, or a Palo Santo incense, or copal. Then I say a prayer to her, or do a Santa Muerte rosary prayer, which can be found online or in some books. I found one in Santa Muerte, The History, Rituals, and Magic of Our Lady the Holy Death, written by Tracy Rowland. And I'm going to create my own Santa Muerte rosary prayer that I'll probably do a video about here shortly. Traditionally, Santa Muerte can be found in three different colors, traditionally white, red, and black. The white is generally petitioned for healing, protection, and purification. Red is for earthly matters, love, problems, and fighting enemies. Black is matters involving judgment, removing and bestowing curses and contacting the dead. But modern day Santa Muerte can be found in seven different colors. Some statues of the Grim Reapers can be found with all seven colors, giving the devotees an opportunity to approach each aspect of the skinny lady. The seven colors are white, purification and healing, blue, social wisdom and business ties, green, justice, ethics, and laws. Gold, to attract wealth, money. Red, sex, lust, and passion, also anger and aggression. Purple, spiritual wisdom and magic. Black, banishing, protection, and breaking curses. 
The devotee can also burn a candle of any of these colors in front of a Santa Muerte statue or image and ask for her assistance. Candle magic is used in many different practices, but from personal experience, when using candle magic with Santa Muerte, she definitely listens and she definitely answers your prayers. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video on Santa Muerte. I plan on releasing another one with the rosary and some with some prayers in it since Santa Muerte is like my patron saint. I enjoy working with her. I love working with her. She answers my prayers. She is there for me and she protects me. I hope you learned a little bit from this and hopefully I piqued your interest into looking into Santa Muerte yourself. This is Greg from The Magic Couple. Please hit like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to receive notifications when we upload more videos. I hope you guys have a magical day and blessed be.